talking. Yeah. My name is John Tressa, and I worked at the Essex County Jail from 1950 to 1971. I had the title of Chief Jail Officer and also the title of Deputy Warden. What are your recollections about how that jail ran? I was very proud to work there because I thought we ran the finest institution that was ever run. And it was clean as a pin and in good shape. All painted up, clean, very proud to work there. What would an inmate's normal day be like? Well, we would have them coming out at 9 in the morning on a day shift and be walking on their tears until 11. And then you put them in at 11 and we get ready to feed. The feed would be over by 12.30 or so and we let them out again at 1 until 3. Uh, exercise and up and down the tier. On a 4 to 12 shift, we would let them out at 6 at night and they would stay out until 8. We put them in at 8 and then we would turn the radio on and we'd give them music throughout the institution. It's a very busy day and before you know it, the day is over. It's that fast. What, what did a typical cell look like? A typical cell had the car. It would have a regular mattress and a blanket and a very shallow pillow and the bare walls. We didn't have anything on the walls like pictures or anything because inmates could hide stuff behind it. So we made sure that there was nothing on the walls. Clean, had to scrub the, every day to clean their cells out. When I worked on the tea as an officer, I made sure that when I went and took the count at eight in the morning, that everybody flushed their toilets because a lot of them didn't want to flush their toilets at night while they were sleeping. Big, big bang. But you had to do that and after that open the windows and get the stench out. We wanted a clean jail. I would get all pieces of soap and put them in a bucket with holes at the bottom of the bucket and I would have the inmates wash all the bars down and all the walls down. Keep them occupied, throw them some cigarettes, extra couple of pieces of bread, keep them busy, but keep them clean. That's the one thing I stuck with. Give me an idea of what a, a breakfast might be like or a lunch or a dinner if you're an inmate. I take a typical Saturday afternoon. They loved hot dogs. And we used to have sauerkraut and hot dogs. And we had buns for them. And in the morning they had beautiful toast. Had a lot of toast. And they loved that and we give them extra. What about for dinner? Dinner they had their meat. They had fish on a Friday. They had their meat, and they were well satisfied. If they weren't satisfied, you would know it. They would refuse to eat, and you know you have a problem. And that only happened once or twice when something wasn't cooked properly. What about visitations? You said there were visitations on Tuesdays and Saturdays? Yes. How would that work? Well, the way I ran it, Everybody had their own method. I would go up and down the visiting line. The women that were pregnant, I would bring them up to the front. And nobody in the line ever complained or anything. The men, 
the old men would come and see their grandkids and all that, I'd put them up in the front. And nobody ever complained. I never had a problem. But I would do that. And they were allowed face-to-face -face visits, or was there a glass between them and a phone, or how did that work? Through a screen. Through a screen. Through screen visits. But these people at the old jail were out in the open. Rain, snow, cold weather, hot weather. So, woman pregnant, standing there, put her up front. So visitation was outdoors? No, the visitation was inside, but they were in the line outside, waiting to go in. I see, I see. So were there was, was there a time limit upon how much people could spend with their... Yeah. Yes. We wanted to give everybody 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. We were cramped for space, and we had a lot of people visiting, so they couldn't get a long visit, but they got a visit. Right. Did you ever find anything in a, in a jail cell that an inmate had tried to hide that you found surprising? Oh, that happens. Yeah. Every once in a while, a guy tried to hide a spoon, but we, we get it. Were there any recreational activities available? In the old jail, we were very limited. In the new jail, we had a gym, and they had their recreation. But in the and old they, jail? In the new jail, they even brought in a Broadway musical one time. But in the old jail, there wasn't no. enough space for no, any sort of activity. Very limited. No sports, no, uh, no games. No. We had games, but no room. We had overcrowded. We had guys sleeping on cots. 50, 70, 80 guys sleeping on cots in the open. And in the area where you they should be walking around and getting exercise. We were very crowded at that time. So it seems like this was a jail, as you mentioned before, that was built in 1837, that maybe had outlived its usefulness even long before you got there. Long before I got there. Such a good building. That it, yeah. Historic building. Historic. I wish you guys would have seen that place when we were working there, how clean it was. You, hard to believe. The exterminator come, he'd be gone in five minutes. Go through the whole place, five minutes.